This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Let's go and grab some additional photographs that we want to use inside our self-running slideshow. So here inside Flash, I'm going to head back to the file menu and then back down to import and then over to import to stage. And inside the project files folder that we have here, I'm going to go after the next photograph that we want to use, this time from Flickr user for the rock. So look for fortherock.jpg and go ahead and pop that guy open. And then once again, he comes in pretty massive here into our flash file. Now, one thing that I didn't mention in the previous exercise is we wanna make sure that our photographs are locked up into the top left corner of our stage. So even though this guy came in huge, I'm really not concerned about that because we already know how to fix that, right? So I'm just gonna zoom in here a little bit and make sure that this guy is nice and lined up right into that top left corner. Something like that, I think, is pretty good. Now, if you want to, what you could do is you could select your photograph here and then head to your Align panel, this guy right here. Or you can head to your Window menu and look for Align. And what I could do is I could say Align to Stage, and I want to make sure that this object is touching the left edge of the stage and also the top edge of the stage, just like that. Okay, good stuff. All right, now I'm sure you know what's next. We're gonna take this graphic for the rock and go and crop them inside Photoshop. So I'm gonna right click on this guy and then down to edit with Adobe Photoshop. Of course, I'm right clicking on him by the way, inside the library panel, forgot to mention that. There we go, inside Photoshop. And basically it's gonna be the same process that we saw earlier. So let's go and resize this guy first. So once again, Command Option I or Control Alt I to get into your image size dialog box. This guy's over 2,500 pixels in width. I'm gonna knock this guy way down to the 940 myself. There we go. All right, again, it's optional. You might not wanna go all the way down to 940. And then once again, with my rectangular marquee tool, I'm just gonna single click and kind of decide how I want to crop this guy down. Maybe I want more of the foreground into this guy, something like that, or maybe more of the sort of the hills and the mountains in the background, or maybe a bit of both. I think I'm going to go with a bit of both, something like that. Okay, there we go. I'm just using my left arrow key, by the way, just to nudge this over a little bit. I wiggled mine by accident. There we go, something like that. And then image, down to crop, wonderful stuff. Save this guy up. It's all right. And head back to flash. And, oh, isn't that interesting? Looks like, oh, there it is. It did update. I was thinking there that it didn't update on me. You know, I should, now that this has come up, I should mention here, every once in a blue moon, the Flash content doesn't update. To force it to update, you can right-click on your object inside the library panel, and there's a handy update option, which forces the Flash file to update itself. Okay, now we have one more slide, one more photograph to go here. I'm gonna go and import this guy. So once again, file and then down to import and then import to stage. And this guy is gonna be from a photographer, a Flickr user called Leo Set. So Flickr user Leo Set. Go ahead and grab that guy, pop him open. And what I'm gonna have you do on your own is get this guy open inside Photoshop, crop him down the way.